come from a long line of nobility. Through the valiant efforts of the Imperial and Volunteer Forces, Zhan Jiao, founder of the Way of Peace, is defeated. The Yellow Turban Rebellion is ended. But the longed-for peace did not return. At the capital of Luoyang, the eunuchs faced off against the faction made up of the relatives of the Emperor. Using this as an excuse, Yuan Chao and others raid the Imperial Palace, killing the eunuchs. Under cover of this confusion, Dong Zhuo of Xilian leads his forces to the capital. He seizes control of the Emperor, appoints himself Prime Minister, and proceeds to take control and to tyrannize the country. The Lords soon began to feel themselves in danger. Emperor Shao is a fool. It is his ignorance which has led to war. It is my belief that the wise Liu Shi is a far more appropriate choice for the position of Emperor. I take it there are no objections. In that case, I will proceed with the coronation. Wait, Dongzhuo. Emperor Shao has only just been crowned. How can the fault possibly lie with him? Isn't the strife afflicting the land the corruption and manipulation of those who move for their own advantage? Those like you? How dare you! There are consequences to accusing me of such heinous crimes! Yuan Shao. He enjoyed immense popularity and support as a nobleman from the esteemed Yuan family, and was a childhood friend of Cao Cao. Numerous voices of support rallied around Yuan Shao when Dong Zhuo's tyranny reached its zenith. Despite his concerns, Yuan Shao set out to eliminate the threat posed by Dong Zhuo. Uh, excuse me, I must take my leave. Someone have that man executed! Wait, please! Master Yuan Shao is the nephew of Master Yuan Kui, one of the three excellencies and hails from the noble and unimpeachable Yuan clan. If he is executed, there will be no way to avoid retribution from those affiliated with the Yuan. Ah! Then forget it. No matter what Yuan Shao has planned, it won't work now that Lu Bu is by my side. Says that blasted Dong Zhuo has used the confusion to seize control of the Emperor. All our efforts in getting rid of the ten eunuchs have been wasted. Any within the palace who dared stand up to his tyranny have been executed. The rest are all too fearful to do anything about it. This is most lamentable. We must slay him with all haste and rescue the Emperor! You look like you've got your hands full, Yuan Shao. Surely you cannot expect me to just stand idly by and watch while Dong Zhuo treats the Imperial Court like his own plaything? You are perhaps the only person who can publicly call out Dong Zhuo for his actions. Hmm. I am merely living my life in a way that befits one of my noble standing. That is most admirable of you, Yuan Shao. 
So, when are you planning to actually make your move? Everybody knows you are the leader behind the anti-Dong Zhuo movement. If you do not participate, we will likely miss out on our best opportunity. Well, it's not as easy as you make it sound. Dong Zhuo is protected by the mighty Lu Bu. We have to find some way of getting past him first. Hmm. There are two ways to get rid of Dong Zhuo. We can raise an even larger army to crush him, or we can use more subtle methods to bring him down from within. Without a well-known name, or sufficient military strength to rely on, my options are limited. However, that is not the case for you. You have both in abundance. He does not understand my position. As a nobleman, I have certain responsibilities and cannot afford to take action lightly. But that Cao Cao, he is certainly up to something. The palace is in an uproar once more. Has Dong Zhuo done something again? Master Yuan Shao, I bring news. Master Cao Cao appears to have attempted to assassinate Master Dong Zhuo. Uh, assassinate? That fool, Cao Cao. Why did he do something so reckless without consulting me? Master Cao Cao's plan was thwarted by Master Lu Bu, and he was forced to flee. Master Dong Zhuo's anger is understandably significant, as you are close to Master Cao Cao. He suspects your involvement. Those in the palace loyal to the Yuan clan managed to calm him somewhat. But he has assigned you to the post of Ambassador to Bohai. Ugh. Dong Zhuo is making sure I am as far from Luo Yang as possible, so that I am not in a position to get in his way. Lord Yuan Chao, this letter was just thrown into the grounds of your mansion. I dare say this is Cao Cao's doing. He's always ready with a plan for evil doing. Let me see what it says. Cao Cao's plan to assassinate the tyrant has failed, and the road to peace is in peril. The only hero who can save our land now is Yuan Shao. If Yuan Shao were to issue a call to arms in his name, then warriors from across the land would surely respond to that call, and we could defeat the tyrant. <laughs> oh, that is absolutely true. If you were to make a rallying cry, my lord, the mightiest warriors in the land could hardly fail to answer. But if he were to stand at the head of the forces against Dong Zhuo, Lord Yuan Shao's very life would be in grave danger. No, Feng Ji. The land is in crisis. If my noble presence is needed to rescue the Han court in its hour of need, then I would be glad to do my part. I will send a missive across the land. I will gather in Xingyang those who still have faith in the Han imperial court, and together we will wage war against Dong Zhuo! Of course, my lord. I'll make the preparations at once. I must travel to Xingyang and raise my family's noble banner across the tyranny of Dong Zhuo. I will leave Luo Yang for now, but I swear I will return and save the Emperor! When that happens, Dong Zhuo's reign of terror will be at an end, and the land will know peace once more! Time has come!
it's you. Very well. Lend me a hand. Dongzhuo's gathering beauties. I must be next. Not a bad performance. For you, you can have this. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Do please come again. Need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. I never expected so many mighty warriors to heed my call. I cannot express the extent of my gratitude. It is we who should be thanking you, my lord. We appreciate you finally being the one to do something about Dong Zhuo. I have brought along a man I trust to help us in our mission to bring an end to Dong Zhuo's tyranny. Please use him as you see fit. My name is Liu Bei. I was most moved by the loyalty you showed to the Han, and the compassion you showed to the struggling people, Master Yuan Shao. I may not be capable of much, but what strength I and my two sworn brothers have is at your service. <laughs> this is all very ostentatious of you, Chao. Sending off such an emotionally laden missive to stir up trouble in the land. It hardly seems the sort of behavior one would expect from a member of the noble Yuan clan. Master Yuan Shu, do you not think that is a little disrespectful? In a time in which most men shrink in fear from Dong Zhuo, Master Yuan Shao has stood up most courageously in resistance. He is a hero of our age. No, no, my cousin has a point. Dong Zhuo's tyranny has led to disillusionment amongst the people, and the majesty of the Han Imperial Court has been sullied. As a member of the UN clan, which has always served the national interests, I should have taken a stand against Dong Zhuo long ago! Oh, my lord! Such nobility and grace. <laughs> this is a joke. Now! that we have all gathered in this manner, it would be appropriate to select a leader of our coalition. I believe that I am the obvious choice as representative of the main branch of the Yuan clan. No, I believe Master Yuan Zhao should receive that honor. He is the one who brought this coalition together in the first place. What does everyone else think? Absolutely. Indeed, it could be no one but Master Yuan Shao. How dare you all! Mm. Very well. I shall bear the responsibility of the nobility. 
and lead this mighty coalition. You are not but a bastard child of this clan, yet you act like you are in charge. I will not forget this. You can count on that. Brave warriors who have gathered under my banner, we will attack Luo Young and slay Dong Zhuo.
great strength. I'm pulling back for now. Yet another enemy officer bows before me. Astonishing. You are truly a sight to behold. Even together, rats are still rats. Don't think you're getting through Sushwe again, or pull out. army has us completely surrounded. I'm not sure how long we'll be able to hold out inside the castle. Ha! The tiger of Jang Dong? I don't hear many roars from inside the castle. They brought siege weapons with them. We must destroy them before they can take down our gates. Everyone is to remain here and defend this position. With their very lives. Insolent fool! Received some reinforcements. Retreat! Retreat! That was a bitter battle, but we made it through thanks to your efforts. You have my gratitude. Our preparations to attack Louis on are complete. We shall march to the west and slay Dong Zhuo once and for all. Yet another enemy.
enemy officer bows before me. I am a Yuan. Victory is inevitable. Welcome, welcome! Do please come again! Alright, 
you're the one who saved a whole village from Dong Zhuo. Hey, will you help us out too? Dong Zhuo's forces are closing in on our village. We need to get back there. But we may also encounter bandits on the way. Will you please come with us as protection? Oh, you will? We'll do our best not to cause too much trouble for you. inevitable. The Coalition Army's advance will be stopped here at Su Shui Gate. No one's getting by me. Let's go. The enemy does not stand a chance against our might. Our objective has been decided. All units, forward! Who brought the rams? Use these to smash the gates in. Battering rams? More dirty tricks! Everyone, stop them in their tracks! Target 
is that parcel of land. Prepare to move. Infinite fool! Let's go. I never thought I could be beaten. The Coalition Army was a lot tougher than I thought. I am a UN. Victory is inevitable. Excellent. Your prep. We move. The time has come. Indeed, you are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Come, peons, entertain me. among horses. That's him! Let's get out of here! There's no way we will survive! Luo Yang is just beyond Kulao Gate. But first, he has to fight the demon Nubu. This is the perfect opportunity to strike. Stop our forces! Blind them with our fury! We're going to secure this area! Everybody, forward! Where did you come from? You won't touch our supplies! Our target is that far 
parcel of land. Prepare to move. We're going to secure this area. Everybody, forward! Forward. Our objective is to capture that area. We're going to secure this area. Everybody, forward! I will do everything in my power to defend Pulau Gate. Come, and face me if you dare! Our objective has been decided. All units, forward! The garrison is loaded with provisions and material supplies. Perhaps we should try a fire attack, brother. See, that's a brilliant idea, Guan Yu. If their provisions go up in smoke, the enemy is sure to lose Murat. <laughs> the supply depot is on fire! We can't afford to lose those supplies! Such impressive might. I must begrudgingly respect your ability. <laughs> Inevitable. Yeah. 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 